Hey folks, it's a beautiful Sunday morning, beautiful autumn day. We're climbing up the mountain to get to the top and see the last Cora. Baltimore, an amazing mountain that offers an amazing experience. On a quiet and sunny Sunday morning, our crew of eight started climbing one of Ireland's highest mountain, the fourth highest peak in a country. It's part of the Golti Mountains, a mountain range that stretches for over 30 kilometers between County Tipperary and County Limerick. Each step we walk revealed new colors, new trees, and as we entered through the woods, we started seeing the mountain peak and its unmistakable shades of green. There are four lakes in the Golti Mountains, Loch Muscri, Loch Deheen, Loch Boreen, and Loch Curra, the one we're going to visit today. But there's a folk tale related to Loch Muscri, and I want to tell you all about it. Once upon a time, a big serpent was killing livestock around the Galtee Mountains. People were desperate, farming in the area was impossible, and everyone was scared of this big reptile. St. Patrick, who was crisscrossing Ireland with its twelve disciples, took charge of the matter once encountered Tipperary. He chained the serpent, imprisoned him under the lake, and promised to set him free on La Anluan, the Irish for Judgment Day. The serpent misheard St. Patrick's word and understood Anluan, which is Easter Monday or Monday. It is said that every year the serpent resurfaces from the bottom of the lake on Easter Monday and asks St. Patrick, Is it Monday yet, Patrick? To which St. Patrick replies, No and the serpent goes back on the water for another year. People became obsessed with the story and started to think that the serpent was actually chained under Loch Deheen instead of Loch Muscri. They got so obsessed that in 1830, Captain Dawson attempted to drain the lake and slay the monster. As Captain Dawson and his men were about to start their work, he saw smoke from down the valley and noticed that his estate was completely on fire. The crew rushed down to Balianakurti and found out that everything was exactly as they left it. There was absolutely no fire. No one ever tried to drain the lake again since that day. To get to the mountain top we should walk for over 5 kilometers, which it's probably not gonna happen because we get the kids with us. But we're just 2 kilometers away now from the lake and by the way, the top of the mountain is right there. <laughs> taking a shortcut here and the shortcut will save us about one kilometer so it's, it's a very good deal this little road here was open in 2013 by volunteers and by the landlord of this place which wanted to create a more accessible way to get to the top and get to the lot it's a beautiful road guys we're halfway there now and I gotta say that I'm starting to feel it I guess I gotta go back to training as soon as possible we're in the thick of the woods now there's trees everywhere I look and look it's so intense and there's so many trees that the Sun doesn't even filter in at last we could finally see the mountain plateau this is the view from the top of one of the hills here.
One thing I read before coming here is that this part of the mountain is full of sheep and goats and it actually is, it's full just all around me. I think the strong wind is a bit of a spoiler right now. We reached the top, we finally got to the lake. The water is crystal clear, guys. It's pure nature. It's peaceful in here. We're coming down now. We just left La Cora, which is right behind me. And I can feel my legs. Finally back at the parking lot. I just can't wait to get home, get a warm shower, get something to eat and sleep, guys. We have been walking for the last five and a half hours, but it was totally worth it. This is definitely one of the best places where you can do some climbing and hiking or mountain trailing with the kids. Once you get on top of the lake, it's just beautiful, guys. The clouds, the mountains, the water is just amazing, amazing place. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, Leave a like and leave a comment and don't forget to share and see you next time. Ciao, badazzi.